Hi everyone. This is Angie with the Painted Feather. Good afternoon, good evening. Um, coming at you live from Santa Rosa, California. Don't see anybody on as you jump on here. Tell me where you're watching from. I'm gonna give everybody a couple minutes to get on. Hello. As you come on, I would love to know where you are watching from. I'm in Northern California, about an hour north of San Francisco. It's baseball season. My Giants played a couple times. They won today. They beat the Dodgers today. Um, anyway, hi Kathy from Indiana. Hi Lauren. Thanks for saying hi to me. Hello from Illinois. Hi Sheila. Hi Nanette. Hello from Texas. You doing okay in Texas? It's a little crazy in Texas. Hi, Amy. Welcome. Hi, another Amy. Hello from Missouri. Go Cards. Hi, Kimberly from North Carolina. Yeah, tell me who your favorite baseball team is as you come on today. It's baseball season. We get to get to watch it at least. Um, hello from Ohio, Michelle. Hi, Norma from Tulare, close to Bakersfield. Hi, Aaron from Australia. Welcome, lots of people jumping on. So, great, let's, um, let's get to work then. Hello from California. Hi Liz, what part of California are you in? Hello from Oklahoma. Lots of people, you can't hear me very well? I have my earbuds in. Let me see if I can make an adjustment. Hi Julie. Hi Dixie Bell Paint. Okay, go Cubs. I, I see everybody's into giant or into baseball season. Um, anyway, I'll talk loud. If you can't hear me, let me know. I'll, I'll just talk louder. I have a big mouth. I can talk loud. Atlanta Braves for Amy. Um, hello, Liz from Fresno. Yeah, that's not too far. It's a couple hours north. That's in the valley. Um, actually, you guys are south of us, but anyway. Hi, Kate. <laughs> anyway, okay, so Let's get going on the project today. Um, oh, Teresa likes the Dodgers. Uh-oh, Teresa, we're rivals. That's okay though. I love baseball. Hi from Iowa. Lots of people watching today. Okay, so I am going to do a super fun um, painting project today and I did something, okay, you can't hear me? You guys, tell me if you can hear me. I know some people can hear me because they're answering my questions. Hi from Spain. Luz, hi. Okay, I'll try to talk louder. Maybe I'll bring you in a little closer. Got my earbuds in and everything. Okay, hi Debbie. How are you? Can you hear me okay, Debbie? The Red Sox, Cindy likes the Red Sox. Okay, you hear fine. So I'm sorry if you can't hear. Um, try to turn it up if you can't. Okay, some people hear fine, some people don't. I'm not sure what's going on. That was happening the other day too. Um, okay, so this really funky dresser behind me here is, okay, Amy, thank you. Um, sorry if you can't hear. Happy if you can. Um, I'll talk loud, okay? So this super funky dresser, I am going to um, paint, and I'm going to paint some really fun colors. Okay, I'm better now. Good. And the colors that I'm going to use today are... Dixie Bell barn red. It's going to be flipped reverse. Red socks. Somebody said red socks. In England, they can hear me all the way in England. Julie can hear me in England and in Australia. Good. Okay, so I'm going to use barn red today. I'm going to use, all these are very well loved containers, um, rustic red today. Oh, I'm going to paint, actually, I'm going to kind of paint like my earrings today. I kind of am. I, I wore these with that in mind. So, Yes, very astute, Marianne. Okay, and then I'm gonna use mermaid tail. Um, I may throw in a little tree frog, I don't know, we'll see. Um, possibly a little peacock. It's gonna get a little crazy here. Um, I did the top, I'll show you this later. This is, this is a little messy, I'm a messy painter today. Um, I am painting, I painted the top in copper. So actually, let me see if you can see that. See the copper right there? I painted that in copper. You can use the patina paints. Um, okay, Loretta put her earbuds in, good. And then Colonel Mustard, I'm gonna use a little of this. 
and paint blue. It ain't blue. Yeah, it's a little bit blue. Um, yeah, lots of colors today. So I'm going to see if I can show you. I already did a bench like this and I got lots of positive feedback on it and people were asking me to do a demo of it. So why not? I'm going to do a demo of this. So let's see if I can show you what I already did. Okay, so here's a bench that I've done. And this is kind of the look I'm going for. Let's see if I can show you. So it doesn't really look like it has all those colors in it, but it does. And that one might not have all of them. Hi from Chico. Hi, Chandra. Hello from Mississippi. Yeah, these colors make me super happy. And so I thought I would just do a real fun project. And this doesn't take like crazy mad skills or anything. This is just a super fun, easy way to paint. Um, Cindy loves this. Yeah, this is gonna be good, Cindy. You're gonna like this. Um, this is gonna go fast. Um, I didn't even start, I started on the sides, but I don't even have to show you that. Um, I'm just gonna go for it, get some paint on here, dry it, and then we're gonna do the turquoise over the top and it's gonna look really, really super cool. I'm gonna use kind of a dry brushing technique and um, you're scared to use so many colors. Well, I'm gonna show you how to use all these colors and it's not gonna look like I've used all these colors. Some of them are gonna be highlighting and low lighting and it's just gonna be a super fun project. So um, let's see, hello from Orlando. Hi Susie. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna lay down a base layer of the reds, okay? And I'm kind of inspired by um, patina paints and those rusty red colors usually hello from australia hi raylene um with the patina paints you're gonna have more of kind of browns and rusties but you can have all sorts of different colors and i'm not using patina paints i'm using just regular um, chalk mineral paint the dixie bell chalk mineral paint hi diana so let's get going and get some paint on here um, just so you know before i started on this piece I did clean with white lightning cleaner. I cleaned it really well because it was very dirty. Hi there. Hello from Old Town Village Antiques. Do you carry Dixie Bell paint there? Um, so let's get going. Um, I'm going to start with rustic red and I'm going to lay down a bunch of rustic red on here. And if you guys have questions, you can ask them. Dixie Bell paint is on here. Amy's on here. There's a bunch of people on here that can answer your questions if I don't see them. Um, if I see them, I'm happy to answer them. So, um, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to tilt you down a little bit so you can see the bottom of my piece. And we're going to just start putting on our base coat of paint. You'll see how easy this is. Okay, so I do have a little bit of uh, my my brush is a little bit damp okay so I'm gonna work fast and get this paint on here so we can dry it so that you guys can see the second part of this so it doesn't take much paint just a little bit because of this finish I don't I don't need a whole lot of paint and I actually am okay if the wood shows through okay so just get just using what's in the lid right now. And I'm gonna use a few different reds. Let me see if you can see. Do you have something planned out? What are you going to do? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't have it exactly planned. I'm just gonna put reds on here um, as the base layer. And then I'm going to put the turquoise and those colors on top. Okay, so I want the red peeking through to, you know, peeking through to the turquoise. So the turquoise is gonna be kind of the dominant color. So let's get, need a little more paint. I'm gonna get this out of the way here. Actually, I'm gonna grab my spray bottle. Just a second here. So this will go pretty quick. And I see Dixie Bell answering questions, so thank you, whoever is working for Dixie Bell right now. I appreciate you being on here answering questions. So, um, but I did paint this, or I mean, I cleaned this piece 
extremely well because it was very dirty with white lightning cleaner. And if you haven't, haven't used white lightning cleaner, I highly recommend you get yourself some. And if you haven't seen what white lightning cleaner is, it's a granular formula that comes in a little container, but in that little container, you can fill a 32 ounce bottle 16 times. So don't waste your money buying other cleaners at the hardware store. Just get some white lightning cleaner, save yourself some money and clean your piece and degloss your piece and get it ready for paint. It's the best thing you can do. So I didn't even sand this piece because it's actually kind of porous. So, okay, that's, I'm gonna do a little bit more. Let's see, I'll put you up a little higher. Okay, white lightning is awesome. I'm using my mini angle brush. This is a well-loved one. So using my mini angle, I love this brush. And I'm gonna get a little bit on my top here, but. That's okay, I'll go back and touch that up later. So, just get it on. And I wanna get, I'm gonna get the paint down. Let's see if you can see this. I wanna get the paint down in these little grooves because I want that to be recessed in there when I have my turquoise on top. So I'm just gonna get that right down kind of pounce it in with my brush. Dixie Bell paint will go twice as far as a latex paint. So if you have people saying that they've used latex and they love it, that's great, but this paint will go farther than a latex paint. And you're gonna get a different type of finish too. If you wanna blend colors, it's a lot easier with the chalk mineral paint than it is with like a latex paint. Okay, so I'm just kind of randomly putting the reds around with a little bit more over here. Okay, you love my page. Thank you, Marla, for liking our Dixie Bell page. We, lots of great artists come on here and do all sorts of fun tutorials and learn so many things from the Dixie Bell brand ambassadors and a lot of the retailers that come on. I am a premier retailer with Dixie Bell paint and I use it every single day. Okay, so that's, that's enough of this color. I'm gonna grab my spray bottle real quick. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Barn Red. So let's bring it back down here. And let's put barn red here. That right there was rustic red that I was just applying. And now I'm going in with barn red. So here we go. I'm going to use a different brush. And you can use whatever brush you want to sell Dixie Belle over here. Um, can somebody answer? I think in England. I think there are some retailers in England. Dixie Belle can answer that. Or if somebody could answer that. Or if you're a retailer in England... Maybe you can talk to Kelly and tell her. Okay, so I'm going in with my, this is barn red, so it's a little bit brighter. I'm gonna go in with barn red now. Yeah, so here we go. Let's get some barn red on here. See how much brighter that is? So I want different colors, different tones, and I'm okay with covering this hardware. I removed my other hardware, but I'll go and I'll put some, gilding wax on that hardware later. But I'm just laying down another layer or another shade of red because I want this to be kind of dimensional. Hello from Indiana. Hi, Julie. Hi. Uh, hello from Arkansas. Hi, Barry. I remembered your name, Barry. You know how to say it now. Okay. this and there's no rhyme or reason you can just lay down the paint however you feel like it and this is going to look really cool just the color combination and it's going to look really neat and it's okay for that wood color to show through because it's kind of the same tone I'm going for 
just want kind of a rusty red brown tone underneath. Hello from Poppet Walker. Where is that, Amanda? And hi from Tallahassee. Hello from Australia. Hello, Vicki. Hi, Jean. Jean's in Arizona. That's where my giants do spring training. Okay, I'm gonna just blend this a little bit. And get some more red on here. This is gonna look really, really pretty coming through the mermaid tail color. You see? Here we go. This is the first time you're seeing me paint. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in, Sue. I paint stuff every day. I'm doing another live on Monday with Dixie Bell. I have to figure out what I'm gonna do for that one. Maybe even something on this, we'll see. Okay. Brighten it up around the edge here. Don't be afraid to just try out new colors, new techniques. Um, I use the water bottle to blend and help my paint move. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm gonna spray it right there and then it's gonna spread out and it's going to thin it out a little bit. You can spray right on the furniture. I can spray my brush. It doesn't really matter, but it will help the paint move. If you're painting a piece and you don't, you want less brush strokes, you're going to want to use a misting spray bottle. And so these misting spray bottles, see if you can see that very, very fine mist. So it's not like the other spray bottles that you get at, you know, the hardware store. Um, they are similar to ones that hairstylists use though, so you can get them at a beauty supply, but Dixie Bell retailers carry these bottles. Okay, a little bit more red. And then I'm gonna do one more color before we start the blue. I'm gonna have to dry it a little bit because I don't want to blend the blue and the red. So, And this is just paint, so if there's something I don't like, I can paint over it. Or I could completely change it, or I can look at it and, you know, add more colors or take away, you know, it's just so easy with paint. So don't be afraid to just get paint on your piece. Okay, hello from North Carolina. Hello from Ontario, Canada. All right, so that, let me show you here. So we've got the red. This is rustic red and barn red. Yeah, it is interesting already. And this is a really interesting piece. I've never painted a piece like this and it looked kind of boho, kind of um, Western to me. So I just wanted to do something kind of funky and fun. And my favorite colors are red and turquoise. So we're going with it. Why not? Okay, so now another color that I'm using, I actually mixed kernel mustard and rustic red in here. To, it's gonna be kind of a pumpkin-y color. Thank you, Nancy. Um, so this is kind of, you can see in here, I mixed these colors together. It's kind of a rusty um, orange color. So I'm, don't be afraid to mix colors too. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of that on here, kind of highlight and low light, but this is gonna just kind of highlight some areas. So let's see, hi from South Carolina. Thanks, Amy. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I think it's gonna be good. Those colors make me super happy. So paint colors that make you happy. Okay, now I'm switching to my um, French tip brush. So this is more, you know, if you want to do smaller areas, um, it's got kind of a pointy tip. There's different applications for this brush, but I don't want to put a whole lot of this color on. Thank you, Andrea. Okay, so let's see. This is kind of, it's almost, it looks like terracotta actually. It looks like the terracotta color by Dixie Bell. 
that color if you like terracotta. It is available in a 16 ounce size only. Really great color. Most premier retailers carry that. And to find a premier retailer, go to the Dixie Belle paint page and you can search in your area, support your local people. Okay, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna blend it just a little bit here. Okay, so you can see how that's kind of doing a blendy thing. But I'm okay with it being a little streaky too. So I'm not gonna do like some perfect, beautiful blend. I'm just, I want this to be super funky. So this is a good, um, this is a good method. If you're kind of a newer painter and you want to do something fun and different and you don't feel like you have the skill yet for like doing crazy blending or, you know, making the blend how you want, this is not, not something that you have to worry about that with. This is more free form and kind of um, just a fun, a fun type of project that however it turns out is great. Okay, let me put that a little higher. Um, yeah, the this is not terracotta. I mixed a couple colors for this, but this is actually rustic red and um, and kernel mustard mixed together, but it, to me it looks a lot like terracotta, and I'm sure it is available. And if not, you can click on that link in the um, description of this video and get yourself over to the Dixie Bell paint page and you can order it right there. I see the water spray bottle used quite a bit. Is that a Dixie Bell product? Yes, it is. And yeah, doesn't it look good together? Just We're gonna cover a lot of this up, but we're gonna see it peeking through. So yeah, this is a Dixie Bell product. Um, I'm not sure if they're in stock right now, but a lot of retailers do have them. Yes, you can buy them from Dixie Bell Paint. So um, I, they probably could be back in stock. So just check and check with a local retailer. If not, so yes, it is a fantastic tool, such a game changer for painting. If you use this paint, you want to keep the paint moving and it's really a really great tool. So, okay. So I'm not going to put a whole lot of this on. Let's see, a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So they are currently out of stock in the moment, but you may be able to find one with a local retailer. You could use a little cup of water in the meantime, like just have it to dip your paintbrush in, just to keep your brush damp. That really helps too. You can add a little water to the paint too to keep it moving. Lots of ways to get to the same place. So I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit. See what happens when I spray it. Yes, all these paint brushes are on Dixie Bell paint, all the ones that I'm using today. You can use a chip brush to do this too, but this is a French tip brush. Really good to get up in these little corners. And this is a good one too, to just put a different finish on as well. Okay. Let me see. I'm just gonna look back here, a little over here. All right, that's looking pretty good. See, I'm not really giving it like a ton of thought. I'm just putting paint down. Okay, there are, oh, diffuser ones in the supermarket and the gadget section. Okay, somebody's giving us a little tip. Um, I wonder that too, as I'm not artistic. Yeah, just, you might be more artistic and you didn't know it. I was artistic and I didn't know it for years. I would make my sister do my art projects and I did her creative writing assignments, so. Now I paint stuff every single day. So you just never know. Just gonna find a medium that works for you. Okay, I think I'm pretty good with that. Um, when I'm deciding where to highlight, like I like to go around if there's a recessed area, I like to go in those areas. And like if there's recesses here, and then, I don't know, just kind of random. I, I like to go along 
edges of drawers. So, and then I'm, I'm making this one super random. So, yeah, Sally's Beauty Supply, somebody's saying you can get them on Amazon. Okay, so that, and I actually, I don't have my little, I usually have a little baggie to put my brushes in. I'm spraying my brushes right now to keep them damp because I don't want them to dry out while I'm painting. So, I am keeping my brushes damp. I'm gonna close the lid. And then we're gonna dry, we're gonna dry this. So I'm gonna move you back a little bit so that you can see. And then we're gonna start our next coat in just a second here. Okay, let's see if you can see a little better. Okay, so I'm gonna get my, my heat gun I'm gonna dry this so that we can start putting our turquoise on. Um, yeah, the synthetic brushes are so good. My favorite is the mini angle and the mini. Um, I love the bell brush for wax. Um, I, I mean, all the brushes have different purposes. I love the oval medium to blend. So I'm just going to dry these areas because I do not want the orange and red to blend with my turquoise. This paint dries so fast too. So. Yeah, the mini angle does give the best finish. Be careful with heat guns that you don't keep it on one spot too long because it will make the paint bubble up. You can actually remove paint with a heat gun. So, yes. Isn't that a quiet heat gun? I know. I really like this heat gun. I was going to use my blow dryer, but the heat gun is it's a lot hotter, so we're going to get the job done quicker. And you'll be amazed how quick, um, how quick this process works. Once I start using the turquoise colors, it's going to look drastically different very quickly. A booklet that shows the photos of the brushes with the suggested use. That you can go on to the Dixie Bell paint page and it does show all of the brushes. Um, and then there's tutorials, there's a tutorial section on there. And then if you search on Dixie Bell paint, you can find tutorials for the different brushes. Okay, this is pretty dry. Just gonna get a little more dry. couple spots here. Um, okay, this is a Wagner heat gun. Wagner, it's backwards, but yeah, this is a quiet one. I do have a YouTube channel. Um, it's the Painted Feather by Angie. So I do have some things posted to that. And I have a Facebook page, the Painted Feather by Angie. Um, I'm on TikTok at the Painted Feather, and I also have um, Instagram, the Painted Underscore Feather. All right, we are ready, I think, for turquoise. Yep, okay. The only thing with this heat gun is it will cool. You're welcome, Sue. Um, I have to unplug it because it cools itself down and it won't shut off but I just unplug it to get around that so it's kind of a safety thing I think so I'll make sure I don't burn myself I'll put it back there okay so now I'm gonna go in and this is the fun part this is where it really gets transformed so I'm going to be dry brushing on this is like my favorite favorite color mermaid tail so and if you haven't ever used this color, you should. 
how pretty that is. And it kind of mimics um, a patina look, I think. So I am going to use my mini. So I have my mini angle and then I just have my mini brush. So, and I'm just gonna dip it in and I'm dry brushing this on. Hi, Robbie. So I'm gonna just dry brush this on. And the cool thing about this dresser and the thing, the reason that I wanted to do this dresser is it has a lot of um, areas of detail. So the wood grain kind of sticks out in some spots. And so when I do this, I'll, I'll show you, maybe I'll bring you in a little closer. Um, yeah, my, my earrings match with, yes, I kind of planned that a little bit. They're kind of funny like that. I like to, I like to match things up. So yeah, okay, here we go. Put you down here and we're gonna start doing the dry brushing. And if I need to bring you guys in closer, I can, but okay. So just lightly, or you can put a little bit more on, but see that already? There we go. Just start putting it on and I'm not worried about the direction that I'm going. I kind of want to use multi directions because I want this to be fun and funky. Oh, yeah, isn't that pretty? This is going to look so good. I've been staring at this piece of furniture for like three months and I almost gave it away a couple weeks ago because I was tired of looking at it. And then it finally told me what to do with it. So here we are, and hopefully it turns out how I want it to. So I'm, I'm just dry brushing this on, and I'm letting all these other colors come through. Do you go back and forth to paint? Yes, I'm, so I have this all in because I want to see how this looked. Um, oh, hi, Joan. You were, would you bending? Awesome. Um, I have the drawers pushed in. I usually have them pulled out or I pull them out and I paint with them pulled out. But for this, because I want to see it as a whole, I have them pushed in. I will go back and I'll, I'll fix the sides of the drawers and I'll make it look better. So, but I am just going to go ahead and do it with the drawers pushed in right now. And I'm not really adding water to my brush right now. So now I'm just gonna just get paint on here. Like I said, I want it to be kind of fun and funky. So I'm gonna cross hatch it a little bit and go back and forth a little. But see how cool that's looking already? Hi, Sarah. these little indentations to show through but a lot of people wouldn't think to put like red and turquoise together but um, what kind of sanding did I do for this actually on this piece I didn't even sand it because it was pretty um, had kind of a um, a porous finish on it I, I just cleaned it with white lightning cleaner So, yeah, I didn't really have to, I usually sand my pieces. I'm pretty, pretty much every piece, I at least give a good scuff sand, but this one I didn't, so. Okay, and I'm okay with that patch being a little darker right there. I think that's kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna put you up a little bit more and people are talking about these brushes i've never had a problem with a dixie bell brush either these are fantastic and if you take care of them um, they will last a long time and if you accidentally leave your paint on one of these brushes then 
all you have to do is get your white lightning cleaner, put some in a cup um, with water and soak it overnight and then take your scrubby soap to it and make sure you just scrub that paint out and um, it'll, it'll come off. You can, you can get dried paint off of these if you soak it in white lightning. So white lightning is really good for a lot of reasons. So see how that just goes on and just pops with the red behind it. What size sandpaper to scuff finish. So let me tell you about that actually, Roseanne. So um, I use, so if you want to do sandpaper um, and use a sander, I usually, it depends on the project that I'm doing. If you're, if you're sanding to get a really, really smooth finish, you might start with like an 80 if you're gonna do like a tabletop and then um, graduate to like a 150 and then a 220. If you're just scuff sanding, then just like a, um, I use sanding pads and Dixie Bell sells sanding pads. And let me see here. Oh, I've got it right here. Okay. Rad pads. So these are amazing. They come in four different grits. Eight, you get eight of these and these are by Surf Prep, but Dixie Bell has them. So check with the Dixie Bell retailer and you can get these. And this comes in a medium, fine, very fine, and super fine. And I just will use like a fine to um, get it prepared. So aren't these colors fun? So I am just going in. And I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a lot of mermaid tail right through here. And I'm gonna go in with a different color too. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of paint blue. Aren't these colors fun? Um, do you have to rinse white lightning off? Yes, you want to rinse the white lightning off with a water spray after you um, clean your piece. So get all the residue off. Yeah, isn't this color good? Okay, so I'm gonna bring you up a little bit here. I'm just dry brushing this on. See how quick this happens? And it's still putting plenty of paint on here. So a little of this paint makes a big impact. Yeah, red pads are awesome, Barry. I love them. Okay, and then on, actually, I wanna, I wanna just Use my sprayer a little bit right there. I want to thin that out a little bit. Okay. And now I'm going to go over this part. Um, thank you, Becky. Isn't this fun? Hi, Angie. How are you? Okay. So I'm just going to dry brush this whole thing. Spot. And look how cool that is, because that the recesses aren't getting hit. Just the exterior here, the, the raised up parts are getting the turquoise. So yeah, I just this is such a fun way to paint. Okay. The red pads are a, they're kind of a spongy, they're a synthetic, and they're highly flexible, they're tear resistant, um, they have like a clog resistant coating that prevents buildup, and um, you know, for any like profile sanding that you're gonna do, it works really, really well. Okay, I'm gonna go a little heavy on this drawer. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna kind of highlight some areas with paint blue, which is a little, gonna give it a little pop in some areas. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking how that's looking. Okay, 
and I'm going to spray my brush a little bit because um, yeah, you can wash them and use them over and over. So thank you guys for answering questions. Mary Jane from Perth. Hi. Okay. So next color I'm going to use is Haint Blue. So this is just a really, really kind of very, very light blue with lots of white in it. It almost looks like white, but it has a hint of blue. So thank you, Rochelle. Isn't this fun? Okay, so now I'm going to use my, I have another um, French tip brush. I'm going to use that. So I'm going to come, I'm going to start down here where my paint is drier. Okay, so we're going to come back down here. I'm just going to hit, like, you see that? I'm going to blend this actually a little bit. So I just like to use white just to kind of create interest and give another dimension. Um, you know, the, it just adds a little pop of color and a little movement in certain areas. So um, I have barn red and I have rustic red on here. So, and actually I have, I have a blend of kernel mustard with rustic red that kind of came out as like a terracotta color too. You can watch this on replay if you would like to, and if you do, hashtag replay. So I know, okay. And let's see, I might hit the tops of these with the white. So now I'm just going to go back all over those areas that I just hit. Oh, let's see. So I have, let's see if you can see where I put the white. See how it just adds a little pop of color, you know? So now I'm just going to kind of blend it in a little bit. This is still dry, a dry brush technique. So I'm not adding a bunch of water to it because I want it I don't want it super blended. Just blending it a little bit. These brushes are very durable. So, hi Mary Alice. Hi Cynthia, thank you. Isn't this fun? I've been wanting to do this on something for a while on a live, but I just hadn't yet. No, yeah, it's really fun. And you can have a different finish based on the top coat. If I put a glossy coat on it, it will make it kind of um, more like an epoxy finish. I don't know, I, I like to do that, but I might keep this one more rustic. Oh, thank you, Kim. Yeah, you know, try try different, different colors, mix different colors, do more free form things. Like don't stay in a little box very, you know, very easy to get complacent and just start, keep doing the same thing over and over. Thank you. Um, I do have my apron on, Helen, so, <laughs> okay, what is the feel of the Dixie Belle paint when dry? Yeah, um, it is a very chalky finish when it's dry, but what I'll do is I'll go over this with a, um, a rad pad and then it will smooth it out. It'll feel really, really nice. So yeah, what kind of pulls am I gonna do? I don't know, I don't have pulls for it yet. So I may finish this on Monday on my live. Um, I'll have to decide. If you have suggestions, send me a suggestion. I gotta see what I can find that is, are those measurements. I, because the pulls that were with it, they, were, they only had one knob for each two. So it's not gonna work. So I have to see what I'm gonna do with that. So, okay, next thing I'm going to do here, let's see, I kind of like how that looks. Um, I'm gonna, I'm tempted to just put a little touch of tree frog in. You would never put those colors together, but you love it. Yeah, isn't that pretty? I'm gonna add just a touch of tree frog because I want a little bit of green to pop on this piece. So let's see here. 
don't be scared. It's okay. All right, and I'm just gonna add it where the green is, or where the where the mermaid tail color is, just to give it um, kind of more of a patina type of a feel. Do you see that? Pulls are sometimes hard to decide on. They are. And actually, I might blend it a little bit, just a little wash. And if I don't like it, I can cover it back up. But let's see. I kind of like the green. Just changes, you know, gives it a little different pop in some spots. You see that? Yeah, isn't this tree frog just really cool? It's just gonna brighten some areas. And again, just create a little bit of interest. So, and with this, I'm blending it a little bit because I don't want it to be a real prominent color. So it's my little spray bottle will help. So yeah, isn't this a fun color combo? And they're colors that maybe you would have never thought to put together, but it works. Somebody might not like it, but I like it. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bring it across here. I like to go kind of around, like not all the way around a drawer, just like part of it. A little over here. Okay, see that's interesting. And let's see what time are we at? Ooh, okay. So yeah, just add a little bit here. And I like it. Okay, let me see. Um, what type of piece? This is a dresser. Let me see if I can pull you back a little bit so you can see. Well, actually, I'll just, I'll just scan from top to bottom. Okay, this is a dresser. And now it looks super funky and cool. Um, so, that's where we're at with this. Might just blend out just a tiny bit here in the green. I'll just work those in a little bit. Yes, it's vintage, it's all wood. This thing is definitely an antique. And um, yeah, I'm I'm happy that I didn't get rid of it. I was almost almost got rid of it a couple times because I just hadn't been inspired to do anything with it and now I have, so kind of fun. I could go and add, I may, I may go add a little bit more red. I think I'm going to completely finish this on uh, Monday. I'm going live again on Monday on Dixie Bell Paint at 9 a.m. Um, on the West Coast and noon on the East Coast. Let's see, what am I going to seal this with? I will probably seal this with um, a satin clear coat is what I'm thinking right now. Um, I could seal it with gator hide too. So yeah, I think rusty poles would be really pretty on this. Um, so the top, let me show you real quick. I basically just cleaned this with white light cleaner. Perfect. So I'm gonna show you the top. I don't know if you can see. So I put copper patina paint as the top here. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see that color right there. Isn't that pretty? So, and then that's the, that's the back. I already did that. So let's see, are you using the same technique on the top? I actually am just going to leave it at the top like that, but stay tuned because I think I'm going to come back on Monday and completely finish this piece. So, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm going to find some cool holes. So yeah, tune back in on Monday and I'll finish this. I think it's, I think it's pretty close to being good but um, i'm going to do some fun techniques to finish this off um, thank you for tuning in it is yeah it's about 5 50 so um again my name's angie with a painted feather thank you angie i think it looks good i like it 
Um, I would love it if you go over to my page, The Painted Feather by Angie, on Facebook and like my page and follow me. And follow me on TikTok at The Painted Feather, um, The Painted Underscore Feather. Thank you, Dixie Bell Paint. Um, and if you want to find a um, retailer, go on the Dixie Bell Paint page and search for one in your area. And follow me on The Painted Feather by Angie on YouTube. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. And um, tune back in on Monday morning. I would love to see it and click on that affiliate link if you would like to buy some products. Um, the sides actually are the same. Um, I'm afraid if I turn it, let me see, but I might knock it over. Yeah, well, I'll show you on Monday. Tune back in. So thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Jillian. Thank you, Helen. And um, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Thank you, Alicia. You wanted to know how to do this look for a long time. Good. Yeah, super easy, super fun. Hope you all have a wonderful evening. Please go and like my page and um, buy some Dixie Bell paint. Go paint something, get inspired, get out of the box and have some fun with it. All right. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much. And um, if you have any questions, I will go on and answer them later. All right. All right. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.